Hey guys, as requested, I'll give you an update of my current ETF portfolio as well as which stockbroker I use and where to get vital ETF information. ETFs are great for passive investors who aren't interested in picking individual stocks and want a low-cost, relatively low-risk way to invest in the share market. So let's jump straight into it. My current portfolio is 35% VAS and 65% VGS. Although not very interesting or unique, it's taken me almost two years to settle on this allocation. I think it's a good mix of international and Australian securities at a low management cost. Later, I will also talk about why I modified my portfolio from VESG, Vanguard's Ethical Fund, to VGS. VAS is Vanguard's low-cost Australian Shares Index ETF with a management fee of 0.10%. It seeks to track the return of the S&P ASX 300 Index, that is, the top 300 Australian companies listed on the ASX. It's an index fund in that it's not actively managed, that is, there is no portfolio manager trying to actively pick stocks or time the market, hence the low fees. It is domiciled in Australia and has quarterly distributions. It provides good dividend income, I'll talk about that later, and franking credits. Franking credits simply mean that double taxation is reduced or eliminated for your dividend payments, which may result in you paying less income tax or getting a bigger tax refund, as I can attest to. The top 10 holdings include all the major banks, plus CSL, BHP, Woolworths, West Farmers, Telstra and Macquarie Group. If you look at the one-month performance of VAS, you can see that there was a rather steep decline last week. However, ETF investment should not be about the short term. If you invest in the share market, you have to expect these short-term fluctuations. Looking at the year-to-date chart, we can see that the growth looks a lot more healthy. VGS is Vanguard's International Shares ETF with a management fee of 0.18%. It seeks to track the return of the MSCI World X Australia with net dividends reinvested in Australian dollars index. This includes over 1,500 of the world's biggest companies. It's also an index fund which is domiciled in Australia and also offers quarterly distributions. It should be noted that the fund is exposed to the fluctuating values of foreign currencies as there is no hedging to the Australian dollar. Major holdings include Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Nestle, etc. In terms of recent performance, again, if we just look at the past month, then it doesn't look so good. But ETFs are a buy and hold investment and should be treated as such. The year-to-date chart paints a much rosier picture. If you'd like to compare ETFs and find out all their vital statistics, ETF Watch is a good website to use. Note, they do not sponsor me in any way. They show things like latest volume, market cap and dividend yield. As you can see here for VAS, the dividend yield is quite high at 4.48%. If you like dividends, certainly VAS is a good option. Now on to why I ditched VESG in favour of VGS. Essentially, they're the same fund in that they both have the same management fees and have very similar holdings. If you look at their charts side by side, it becomes a game of spot the difference. They're essentially the same, but the biggest difference is that VESG, Vanguard's Ethically Conscious International Shares Index ETF, does not contain companies that focus on non-renewable energy, vice products and weapons. What effect does this have on returns? This, the dividend yield. VGS has a significantly higher dividend yield at 2.69% compared to VESG's 0.42%. Now that's significant, and that's the only reason I swapped out all of my VSG for VGS. You could argue about the ethics of it all, but personally, I don't think Facebook, Microsoft and Coca-Cola are any more ethical than, say, ExxonMobil. You could debate about it, but ultimately, businesses are in it to make money. Every big company participates in ethically questionable behaviour. If you don't like it, then probably the best thing to do is to not invest in the stock market at all. There are very few companies which you could honestly call 100% ethical, but ultimately, in my opinion, companies are getting better at doing the right thing. They're not perfect, but they are getting better on average. Now on to which stockbroker I use. Self Wealth are Australia's cheapest online broker who offer a flat fee brokerage of $9.50. Note, they also do not sponsor me in any way. If you buy or sell ETFs in say $5,000 parcels, which is what I would recommend, then you will significantly minimise your fees. $9.50 is less than 0.2% of $5,000. It's a very minimal upfront cost. 
Along with the low management fees associated with ETF ownership, self-wealth is a great way for the casual investor to start investing in the share market. Self-wealth have received generally favourable reviews, I can attest to this. They treat their customers very well and have an easy to use interface. I've never had any major issues with them and they've always been quick to help me out when I need assistance. Anyway, that's my current portfolio. 35% VAS, 65% VGS. It's simple, it's diversified, it covers most of the world's biggest companies. If you're a passive investor like me who knows little about individual stocks and doesn't want to spend the time researching that information, then ETFs are a great way to invest your hard-earned money. Thanks for watching.